When we introduced nomenclature of hydrocarbons in a previous video, we learned about a class of hydrocarbons known as alkenes. And you should recall that these alkenes have a carbon-carbon double bond somewhere in the main carbon chain. Alkenes have a general formula of CnH2n. Some other terms that you may have heard previously in other situations that refer to alkenes are based on the number of hydrogens that are present in the hydrocarbon. Alkanes have the maximum number of hydrogens based on the number of carbons. Therefore, we say that alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons. However, since alkenes have a carbon-carbon double bond, they have less than the maximum number of hydrogens, and we say that alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons. Let's look at the alkene structures in a little more detail. To begin with, we should remember that because we have a carbon-carbon double bond, each of the double bonded carbons is sp2 hybridized. The structure around these carbon atoms is trigonal planar. Looking at the double bond itself, we should recall that a carbon-carbon double bond is composed of one sigma bond and one pi bond. The pi bond is actually above and below the axis between the nuclei, which means it's more exposed and it makes alkenes slightly more reactive. Another key feature of the double bond is that it does not allow rotation around the carbon-carbon axis. Whereas with the alkanes, the structures were somewhat more flexible. When we have a double bond, these are no longer as flexible. Let's briefly review what we know about naming alkenes, and then we'll add a little more detail. To begin with, we know that the infix part of the name of the organic compound tells us about the type of carbon-carbon bonds that are present. For alkenes, we have the infix en to match the name alkenes. Another key component of naming the alkenes is that the parent chain must contain the carbon-carbon double bond. In addition, we want to number the main parent chain so that the carbon-carbon double bond gets the lowest possible number. When we have alkenes that have both a double bond and a substituent, it's important that the carbon-carbon double bond gets numbering priority over the substituent. Finally, if we have a hydrocarbon that has two double bonds, these are called dienes. We'll change the infix from simply en to D-I-E-N, or diene. When we have a cycloalkene, we do not include a number for the carbon-carbon double bond because by default, the first carbon in the ring is one of the carbons that has the double bond. We then continuing number through the double bond so that the two carbons in the ring with the double bond are counted as carbons one and two. 